And welcome back. Before the COVID-19 pandemic forced the NCAA to cancel its postseason tournament, Coach Margaret Richards and the Alabama A&M Lady Bulldogs were poised to become the third team from the Rocket City to punch their ticket to the big dance. But on the eve of the SWAC tournament semifinals, everything changed. You know, transferring that information to our young ladies, it was extremely emotional, especially for our senior, uh, Jamika Cobb, our only senior, that was extremely difficult for her. It was tough because for four years, that's been our goal to make it to the SWAC tournament, to get to top four spots so we can give ourselves a chance to win the tournament. In four years, Richards has transferred her team from a SWAC cellar dweller to a competitive program that won 17 games this past season, the most in school history as a D1 program. Coach Richards understands why the tournament was canceled, but it is still a hard pill to swallow. Now all she can do is continue to encourage her young ladies to take care of themselves academically and athletically from a distance. Hopefully God will get this under control and we, we can get the vaccines and whatever we need to be back to our regular normal. Uh, but I just told them that I was extremely proud of them and, you know, just... You know, I know it's difficult, but we're, we're all in this together and we're going to help you get through this and just finish strong academically. Even though the season ended on an unusual note, one of Coach Richard's players shined brightly while taking the SWAC by storm. Sophomore post player Doriana Lewis taking home the SWAC Newcomer of the Year Award and she was named an HBCU All-American by Box to Row. Her performance this year was a shock to many, but not to her head coach. She is not a slacker, she, you know, she steps on the floor, you know, she's running hard, she's doing the drills hard, she's, she's going hard in everything she does. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a surprise to me that she received those accolades because she actually pushed herself, you know, in the drills, on the track, agility, uh, in practice. So I, I wasn't surprised that she was able to accomplish some of those awards. Coming up tomorrow on WZDX Sports, we'll have part two of our conversation with Coach Margaret Richards, and we'll find out why her Lady Bulldogs could be a favorite to win the SWAC tournament next season. Like many basketball programs across the country, the Alabama A&M Lady Bulldogs team saw their NCAA and conference tourney hopes gashed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now Coach Margaret Richards, who enters her fifth season on the Hill, is looking to roll the momentum that was gained this year into next year. And at the moment, the best way to do so is to coach her team virtually. All come together and we have a Zoom call every Sunday afternoon and we just kind of update each other on what's going on and I just, you know, encourage them to stay safe, make sure they're doing uh, what they're supposed to do and check on everybody's family, make sure everybody's good. And also we talk about basketball as well, like, hey, we will be sending you different things that you can do creatively at home to make sure you're staying safe, but just staying in that basketball mindset. And that mindset that Coach is referring to is one that got the Lady Bulldogs to a 17-win season and a four-seed in the SWAC tourney this year. The Lady Bulldogs relied heavily on the great post play of HBCU All-American Doriana Lewis, who averaged 17-9. Coach Richards believes that Lewis can improve easily next season and find more success. We're looking to extend her range, you know, with the 15-footer so she can be more comfortable. And I told her, you know, from the high post, you know, she, within our offense, she should be able to get rip-throughs and drives to the basket so we can kind of take her out on the perimeter a little bit more so it can open up, you know, the lane for her to do some other good things. The Lady Bulldogs did lose senior guard Jamika Cobb to graduation, and her leadership will be missed. But Coach Richards and her staff were able to land a grad transfer and Kiara Johnson-Graham. She's coming to the Hill after a stint with Liberty. So basically, Coach is replacing experience with experience. Structurally, she would know what it takes to win games and do some of those little things that, that we've been looking for. Uh, and also, she's a, also a, you know, she's a good rebounder herself. Um, you know, able to add some more depth to that post position. You never, you can never have too much depth to that. Right. Experience. So I'm excited about her. Another great young lady from Atlanta, Georgia, just be able to, you know, help us out in a variety of areas with her leadership on and off the court. So I was extremely excited when I got that uh, commitment and, you know, that signing done. 90% of her roster returning, Coach Richards is optimistic about what her team can do next season on the court. But for now, she's just worrying about the well-being of her team during this trying time. 